Suresh Ramamuti. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about your background and about the startup you have. Uh, my background, I went, I did my undergrad in engineering in India and then uh, given the socialistic environment in the 80s, I came to the US to do a PhD in hypertech systems. And uh, I dropped out after my qualifiers and uh, found that I was fascinated by a pager. I figured I could use the paging system to do wireless fax. I was completely wrong. <laughs> but I could do wireless data, which we used to send the TV guide to a remote control every day. Wow. And that's how the first guide button got built. Oh, interesting. So that's how I got started up in entrepreneurship. And from there on, I did a second company, and now you know, we're doing a financial services play. Wow, and so now that you've run so many different companies, what would you say is the biggest thing that entrepreneurs need to keep in mind to be successful? Uh, it's, it's depending, if you look at technology, you have to have something that uh, has a radical uh, impact on what you're planning to do in terms of efficiencies and in terms of uh, way people do business. Uh, and you need to be able to execute to it. And, and even if you're wrong in the vertical, if the idea is good, it's still going to work. You just need to find the right vertical to sell it to. Okay, great. And we talked about the different four stages of Startup America, of idea, startup, ramp up, and um, speed up. What do you think is the most difficult of those stages? The places, you know, I think I heard Steve Case say today that uh, uh, ideas without execution is hallucination. And to build on that, most business plans that are based on idea are fairy tales that never come to be. Uh, I've never seen a business plan where the numbers don't go down, they always go up. That's not reality. So uh, you need to be prepared for how the market will react to what you plan to do, and, and you need to be able to adapt. Okay, great. Along those veins, um, who's been your best mentor and why? I had various uh, opportunities to be mentored by uh, very good entrepreneurs. I do remember meeting uh, Mr. Narayan Murthy of Infosys, which is a very large company now, but when they were reasonably small uh, over 14 years ago. And some of the things he told me were amazing. Uh, they, they stuck to focus. No matter how many other opportunities that came out of their focus area, they let them go. They, it's like the equivalent of someone who's only gonna eat focused on eating salad and he's going to lose weight even in a buffet line, even mm -hmm. in a big buffet spread. Mm -hmm. Because he knew eating salad was going to get him to where he wanted to go, not wow. picking the other stuff. And that's an interesting thing, what they did. Interesting. OK, great. And to wrap up, what's an inspirational story that you'd like to tell the entrepreneurs out there? Uh, you know, the, you, you never give up. Um, and I'll talk about what I went through. Uh, I was a student when I started my first company, and my first business card read something about uh, my dorm room is my office address uh, and uh, from there on we, we never gave up because the initial, all our initial ideas went bust and it took about two and a half years later when something actually uh, we ran into somebody where the, what they wanted to do was something the problem we could solve with our technology and the next, next thing you know we are back in business mm. so never give up. Wow yeah. okay well fantastic Trish thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.